Ask for the truth on behalf of Patty Yost. Is that Patty Yost? Um, concerning relationship issues. Uh, concerning a past relationship. Um, well, she got back with this person. What is it to be? Ask this in the name of truth. Right conduct, peace, love, and non violence. Blessed be to the crow, the carrier of souls from darkness into light. And we move the cards to the side for you there, Patty. We'll deal out three cards. The first card we deal is for the recent past influence. The second card is for the present influence, and then of course the the the, the, the third there for the immediate future influence. The first card that we deal is in uh, the recent past influence, as you'd say in the possession of that. Uh, this is uh, a period of time between now and this time last month. You could say about a moon phase behind between now and the 8th of, 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 uh, of April. Um, let's just see what that energy is, shall we? Let's just flip the card nice and slowly and see where your relationship was uh, back then, between now and three or four weeks or so ago, you've got the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords as uh, a Gemini and a, and, a, and, and, and um, uh, yes, Ge Ge uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Aquarius and, uh, and, and a, a, a Libran sort of feel to it, doesn't it? Um, the Queen is the watery part of, and, and swords is air. You could say that's the watery part of air. This tends to focus on a sort of mythical um, energy. I am um, in, 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 in that regard. Um, Really, you've been keeping a low profile. Um, you've been rather elusive, trying to escape, maybe escape the, the inevitable. Uh, maybe escape the inevitable, which is, or which was, and has developed to be, and will be, maybe the inevitable that this relationship isn't going to get back together. Um, to, to elude it, to, to try and to try and escape from that, to, to keep a low profile, to hide from it. You cannot run away from a problem. Problems don't exist to be run away from. They exist to be solved. And you do not solve a problem by running away from it. I want to move on straight to, to the next energy, which is that of what's going on now. The present influence. The energy of the of, of, of the Ten of Swords. Crowley calls the Ten of Swords the Lord of Ruin. This tends to focus on the the black and clouded energy uh, that, that, that that's there right now. It's got a Gemini feel to it though. Nevertheless, it's got that partnership that no doubt would break down. You sometimes think like in the the Raven's Prophecy uh, tarot. You, you sort of get these sort of embers on the antlers or whatever, sort of uh, smouldering embers, not burning brightly, but just smouldering. This right now, of course, indicates the ruin, the fact that this relationship is a smouldering amber. It is a mere remnant of, of what it was. And there's no escaping this. You cannot es You can try and escape like you've tried to do, but you cannot escape it. Uh, the fact of the matter is, you are entering into the darkness. 
launching into a black and cloudy period of time. A cloud is hanging over you right now. And that is the problem, because it's not just a cloud, it is a black cloud. And let us just see what uh, this becomes. Will he come back? It's highly unlikely. Let's just, though, nevertheless, flip the next card. I could be wrong. We could all hope that we are. But we've got the Magician. Uh, the Magician is a major arcana card, indicating sorcery and alchemy. Uh, also, um, it's got uh, an Aquarius feel to it there. Notice, of course, uh, in, in a lot of traditional decks, the magician is the witch at the altar. He has control over over air, fire, water, and earth. Um, of course, the, the 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 fifth element is spirit, which is the lamp, isn't it? That, that one sees, and when one sees that, uh, one is one one is, I suppose, full or fulfilled or or whole in in some way. Um, but this is what he says, it's really, uh, uh, although that this he's got um, uh, Aquarius, uh, uh, so I wanted to sort of have have a bit of Leo, uh, Aries, and maybe Sagittarius there as well, in the sense of the magic is, is to come. The most important part of this relationship issue that you're in is the magic that is to come is the sorcery that is to come, is the alchemy that, that is to come, is to the manifestation that, 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 that is to come, when you gain control of it again. Um, you're out of control at the moment, and that's the problem. And that's, will he come back? Well, maybe, is there anybody to come back to? Uh, why isn't there somebody else to go to, or somebody else to come to you? Why does somebody have to come back to you? Why can't something, as in as in alchemy, why can't you you not manifest somebody or something to happen, something different, somebody different, who 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 maybe you may be bit pleasantly surprised that may may be a bit more sincere. Um. Of course, when one goes into the darkness, one knows what the darkness is because one knows what the light is. And and that when you eventually... The most important part of the whole reading, as you would say, is, is what's about to happen. Because that's a major arcana energy. A major arcana energy gives you no power over what's about to happen. The magic will be performed, the sorcery will take place, the alchemy will, 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 will manifest whatever spirit has to manifest from that. But of course you have a choice upon how you go about it and what you do. Um, maybe it's an external force, maybe it's um, shamans and witches and other uh, workers and wizards, workers of magic who are there sending energy into the universe that will help you as well. I am locking onto your energy maybe and, 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 and helping you from a distance. Who knows what this is? But notice the eagle there as if to, as if to indicate the uh, listening to, as if, as if you will be listening to your higher self listening to spirit and maybe really once you do start tuning into the true you uh, you will then listen to your higher self and then you won't have to try and escape and, and try and elude what 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 what's happening now because now will be then it will be the past and it's time to move on it's time to regain control of the situation instead of allowing somebody else to come back and gain control of you. Uh, I suppose it's nice to be fathered or or nice to be uh, have one's life controlled because then one can sit back as others help but nevertheless it would be nice for you to 
to establish some form of control yourself through the magic that is to come as well once you become the witch at your own altar and you become in control of air, fire, water and earth you become in control of, of, of the space, the energy, the time and the material um, manifestations of, 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 of future relationships why I say ships I don't know but certainly uh, future relationships that are to come maybe there is just the one but <laughs> I got a funny feeling as though uh, one must uh, fall many times before one is raised up uh, in, in this situation of yours um, but running away from a problem doesn't solve it the darkness is here now uh, the, cl the black cloud is hanging over you right now but as with the major and uh, major arcana energy there yes you had power to change it back then you have power even to change it now but you won't between now and this time between now and the 8th of june you will not have time you will not have the power to change it you will only have the power to choose how you deal with it because the sorcery and the alchemy is in place for now these cards have spoken